to have a reasonable size home, we have to commute taking a ferry to work. So yeah, we tried shopping here and it was absolutely absurd. A lot of people are not making enough money in order to afford a home in Metro Vancouver, but new numbers suggest there is a severe gap between income and housing prices. And it's affecting all markets right across the region, especially where I'm at on Vancouver's west side. The area is considered the least affordable region in the Lower Mainland, according to the real estate listing site Zucasa. You'd need an annual income of $450,000 to buy and maintain a house here. With the average income of just $65,000 per year on Vancouver's west side, that equals a gap of around $385,000. It doesn't surprise me, but it's it bothers me. It saddens me. Like it's getting to be such an unaffordable city. What can you say for young people and the next generation? It's an impossible situation. They're never going to get their foot on the housing ladder, and uh, there's no real way forward for them. It is what it is, and until people start to realize that something drastic needs to be done for young people to be able to work and live in Vancouver. I don't see it changing. The most affordable area? Well, that happens to be Maple Ridge. You would need an annual income of $121,000 to purchase a home. The average income in Maple Ridge is around $86,000, leaving the gap at about thirty-five grand. West Vancouver, Richmond and North Vancouver are the next least affordable parts of Metro Vancouver. On the other end of the spectrum, Pitt Meadows, North Delta and Bowen Island are considered more affordable. For a detached home, 11 of the 21 markets that were studied had income gaps of more than 100 grand. But Vancouver is just so priced out of everything. I I, I wish it was different, but I don't know that they can do much now. There's a slight improvement when we talk about apartments, though. Seven markets reported no income gap level. On Vancouver's west side, though, well, this area does not fall into that category either. In Vancouver, Andrea McPherson, City News.